This is a metered dose inhaler. It helps to deliver a specific amount of medication to your child's lungs. Each inhaler consists of a small canister of medication connected to a mouthpiece. As you press down on the canister, it releases a mist of medication. Your child breathes that mist into their lungs. This is a spacer. A spacer may be used with the inhaler. Use a spacer with a face mask for children less than 6 years old. Older children can use a spacer with a mouthpiece. It is a device that is attached to the inhaler and increases the chances of getting more medication into your child's lungs. It is important that you get the technique right so that your child can get the full dosage and increase effectiveness of the medication. Hi, I'm Le Simin. Today, I'm going to show you how to use your metered dose inhaler with a spacer with a child. Check the dose counter, if available, to make sure your inhaler is not empty. Hold the inhaler upright. Remove cap and shake well. If you are using a new inhaler for the first time, you will need to prime it by releasing two puffs of medication into the air or until a fine mist is seen. Your metered dose inhaler is now ready for use. Hold the inhaler upright and insert into the end of the spacer. Your child should sit or stand upright, preferably facing you. For the younger child, place the face mask securely over their mouth and nose. Ensure that it fits tightly with no gap between the mask and their face. If your child is older, use a spacer with mouthpiece. Ask your child to seal their lips around the mouthpiece. Press down the canister once. Encourage your child to breathe in and out. Remove the spacer from their face or mouth after 6 to 8 slow and steady breaths. Ask them to breathe out gently away from the spacer. If your child needs a second puff, repeat these steps after about a minute from the first puff. After use, clean the face mask or mouthpiece with a dry tissue. Wipe your child's face with a damp cloth and rinse their mouth with water or brush their teeth. It is important to get the technique correct so that your child can benefit from the medication. If you still have questions regarding your technique, please approach your healthcare providers for support.